Hi, this video is all about the different states you can put your computer into. So once your computer is turned on, you have access to the Start button. If you click Start, over to the right of the menu, you get a, a list of choices if you hover over this little arrow here. You get a list of choices starting with Switch User. If you need to allow another user to log on to the computer, you're done and your other family member needs to use the computer, you can click the Switch User option. If you're finished with a computer and you just want to log off, click log off. Logging off means that it puts the computer in a state that it's ready for the next user. If you are still working at your computer but you need to lock it, you're going away for lunch or whatever reason, but you don't want to allow others to see what you're working on or make changes to what you're working on, you can lock the computer. When you return to the computer, you'll have to enter your password to unlock it, but all of your programs will remain in their current state. If you're having any issues with your computer, such as it's acting up or it's not doing something it should be doing, restart is always the first thing you should try. Restarting the computer erases everything from its temporary memory, restarts, brings Windows back up, and uh, gives you a fresh start, hopefully fixing whatever problems you were experiencing. The next option is sleep. Sleep is a state that allows your computer to reduce power consumption while leaving the computer in an alert state, allowing you to return to work almost instantly when you're ready. If you're going for lunch but don't want to turn the computer off, yet you would like to save energy, sleep is what you're looking for. The next option is Hibernate. Hibernate puts your computer into a state that allows you to return to work exactly where you left off, but at the same time eliminates power consumption while you're away. Hibernate remembers what programs you were using and restores the session exactly where you left off when your computer is turned back on. Your last option is shutdown. Shutdown turns the computer off completely. It does not remember anything about your previous session. Shutdown is, a, is the best option if you're planning to move your computer or you're not going to be using your computer for an extended period of time. And that's it for starting up and shutting down your computer. The next video will, will cover mouse and keyboard maneuvers, so be sure and watch the next video. Thank you.